Foreign powers set to divide Nigeria. Trigger second war. Femi Fanikayode has revealed. Hello, my wonderful people. Our very own brother, Femi Fanikayode, who seems to be seeking identity. Maybe he's having an identity crisis because the same person will say, Buhari is the tyrant. Buhari is the man who will not let Nigeria move forward. The same person will come back again and say, oh, it's Buhari. Buhari is the man of the people. Buhari, Buhari, Buhari. And everybody's wondering, oh, God, where exactly do you stand? You are neither here nor there. What are we talking about? What exactly is happening? Anyway, my wonderful people, Femi Fani Kayode says there are powers. Mm, powers that you cannot even imagine that are particularly now after the after Nigeria to divide the nation and they are working hard at it. Now, so we they hear, oh, let's hear what Femi and uh, his evidences has got to back what is going on. But are you sure these powers has not joined what is not part of what you have joined? Just a question. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Thank you. Foreign powers seek to divide Nigeria. Trigger second world war. Trigger second civil war. A former minister of aviation in Nigeria, Femi Fani Kayode, has claimed that some external forces are bent on causing a war between citizens in Nigeria. A civil war happened in Nigeria between 1967 and 1970. The war was between the government of Nigeria and the Republic of Biafra, a sectionist state which has declared its independence from the West African nation in 1967. During the two and a half years of war, there was about a hundred thousand overall military casualties why between 500 to 2 million biafran citizens citizens died of starvation Fanny Kayode is fondly called on with regards to issues of the nation has warned again repeatedly of a second civil war in nigeria if yield is not paid to the warning a day nigerian appreciate and focus that there are foreign powers and powers and forces that are seeking to divide us and spark up a second civil war in our country we will be there will be a day that we will have taken the first step to a national redemption may god help us all femi fani kayode wrote on his verified twitter handle this morning asking nigerians to pay heed and focus more attention on the unity rather than those forces that divides us we work together seamlessly to ensure that nigeria becomes a place for everybody rather than for some people and who are working after their own selfish agenda with the forces from external and foreign land who wants to divide nigeria at all costs since official move since officially moving to the All Progressive Congress in September, the former People Democratic politician has been preaching unity, one Nigeria, and has been speaking that the country remains as one. The person who was spoke against and criticized Muhammad Buhari is now a serious advocate for one Nigeria, united Nigeria, and continue to speak in this light. And that's Femi Fani Kayode for you, our very own brother, who once said Muhammad Buhari was the devil. That was that wants to make Nigeria what it is. Guess what? Is now the one who is speaking for Buhari and advising everybody uh, to stay calm and to stay put. Why that is a good advice? I mean, a very sincere good advice. We must all also pay attention to ourselves. What do I mean by that? There are people who are held bound right from the presidency to ensure that this country is divided. And these people, funny enough, they are in government. Okay, they are the ones sponsoring all the evils going on, and that is why it is important that Muhammad Buhari, instead of standing against Nigerians who are calling for section, if he really wants to be a man of peace, I think Femi Adeshino should redirect his attention to ensuring that Buhari remove what we call pride and bring together a place called dialogue where he can meet with Nigerians and reason and discuss, yeah, and have one mind and say, okay, what is the problem? Problem. What is going on? Nandi Kanu Sunday Buho. Okay, come out of this. Let's discuss. What do we do? How do we move it forward? What do you want? How can we progress? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Let's reason together. Even the Bible says, Do you know even Lord God Almighty? 
the maker of heaven and earth. Do you know what he said? God. This is not a man. No. The one who can do and undo. God himself. He said, come now. That's what he said. He said, come. Great. Even God Almighty. Eh, the, 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 the Almighty One. Do you know that he tells man. Imagine you made. You, you have a pet. And before you make a decision. You call the pet. Eh, what do you think? Eh, what, what are your opinions? It takes humility. For you to, some people we call it, you stoop so low to come into what you are the one feeding and tending after and say, okay, let us reason together. Do you know what that, what, do you know how it sounds? Do you know what that means? Do you even have a clue what it means? Come, let us reason together. That's what he said. That's God. Why you? Because you feel you have a little position called the president cannot reason with the people who seemingly you are supposed to be leading. You can't come, you can't, if you, because you want to call it now, uh, I'm reducing myself. Yes. They ask you now, you say, I cannot stoop low. If God can do that, then who are you, a man? So I am putting it to Femi Fanika your day, your, 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 your warning, your heed, a very, I mean, it's a fantastic idea. Oh, yes, we, we, we really sincerely appreciate you. We do appreciate your position on this matter. Fantastic. You've done well. You've done very well. However, can you also now go to, because now Buhari is your boss, yes? You had a red carpet. Welcome. You were well, I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it, it's unbelievable. People have left from other parties to APC to a large extent. None of them has been given the kind of red carpet welcome that you were given. So you must have some level of affluence, influence or importance to APC. So you have access to Buhari. Yes. Why not you have that discussion with Buhari? Why not you say, OK, Buhari, we see what is going on. Can you? I know, I know, can you stoop low? Because it will say me, stoop so low. Yes. Can you now, you know, come down and speak to your subject and say, I understand what is going on. I understand. Okay. What's the problem? What can we do? How can we work together? You have people who are loyal to you. Can we bring this together? What can we do? What do you suggest? What are your position? And you will see things turn like light and day. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.